When held by Roose Bolton at Harrenhal, Jaime Lannister reveals the true story of the Mad King's death to Brienne of Tarth. As the Targaryens were losing the war, Ares had his pyromancers place caches of wildfire all over King's Landing, under the Great Sept of Baelor, under the slums of Flea Bottom, under houses, stables, taverns, and even under the Red Keep itself. After Robert's victory at the Trident he marched on the capital city, but Jaime's father Tywin arrived there first, leading the entire Lannister army, and promising to defend the city. Jaime warned Ares that his father was never a man to choose the losing side, that this must be a trick and he should surrender the city while he still could, but the Mad King refused to listen. Nor did Ares listen to Varys when he gave the same warning that Tywin couldn't be trusted, but he did listen to Grand Maester Pycelle, who convinced Ares the Lannisters were there to help. Ares opened the city gates, and the Lannisters proceeded to sack the city. Jaime again begged Ares to surrender, but the Mad King ordered Jaime to bring him Tywin's head, and his pyromancer, Wisdom Rossart, to set the city ablaze with the hidden wildfire, burning its 500,000 inhabitants to death, rather than lose the city to the rebels. Burn them all, Ares said, burn them in their homes. Burn them in their beds. Jaime makes it plain to Brienne that was his breaking point and asks her what she would do if her precious Renly commanded her to kill her own father and then stand by and do nothing as he murdered thousands of innocent people, she can only sit in shocked silence. Jaime goes on to say that he killed the pyromancer first, then drove his sword into Ares's back as the Mad King tried to run for his life. Even as he was dying, the Mad King kept raving, burn them all. Burn them all. Shaken at the memory, Jaime speculates that King Ares didn't believe he would die in the blaze, and that in his lunacy, the Mad King believed he would be reborn as a dragon in the fire, granting him the power to burn his enemies to ashes. Jaime then finished Ares off by slitting his throat in order to make sure he died, concluding that Eddard Stark found him at that point.